for free friends Come link with us for the weekend Them man pre us, we don't pre them My don't finesse it in Sweden Us men are down in the DM My don't finesse it in Sweden Hey, feel it up with no feeling What's going on everyone? I happen to be Poet, it is Halloween, and guess what? My hair's kind of crazy, but it'd only be crazier if Vuj done it as well. Exactly, I'm David Vianic. I hope you guys know that by now. This is Comments Below, where we take your comments from last week's show all about this week's football, and we talk about the football. And you know what's really pissing me off? That we're not starting off talking about football. We're talking about something that actually existed a very long while ago, but as white people do, they catch on to it late. Dabbing. Yeah, I'm talking about dabbing. You guys left some comments about the medicine for dabbing. How do we cure dabbing? And someone said, um or whatever it's called, is get them to watch Hillary. You know what? I don't want to do this. I just don't care. Right? I just do not care about dabbing right now. So let's go into the football. There's only one place to start. The Stadium of Darkness. Because I can't call it light because Sunderland have a player called Jack Rodwell who hasn't won a game in 33 games. The last time he actually what recorded a, guy. a victory was when he was playing for another club. Have a bad. Have a, ba have a bad. Have and a bad. And he certainly did <laughs> on the weekend. Sunderland won, Arsenal 4 uh, we've got a comment here from LSCL for the Sunderland won Arsenal 4. Is this finally Arsenal's year? Vuj, you, you talk to me. Is it Arsenal's year? It could be. Because you're getting the points away from home. You're getting them lucky victories. That's what you need in, mm. in title challenges. You're definitely challenging. Is this your year? Bro, it could be anyone's year. So, what do you think as an Arsenal fan? Nah. Just no. I just don't think it's our year. I mean, it's not your year. Nah, it's nice though. We're playing attractive football. Uh, we've got a striker that's finally mobile. We put the house phone down and we only pick it up in times of emergency, i.e. when it's 1-1 against Sunderland, Giroud comes on, bags a brace. But I'm still not convinced. I think the next two weeks for every Arsenal fan is very, very, very important. Ooh, you've got some big games. Yeah, Ludogorets, Champions League on Tuesday. Then we've got... So, you never know, bro. It's away in Bulgaria. Not the nicest place in the world. Could be a little bit intimidating. We then play it's the not. North London derby. We then play Paris Saint-Germain and we're then away to Manchester United. So I've said to myself in my mind, if we get four points from the Champions League games and four points from the Premier League games, I will actually be happy, man. I don't think it's our year, man. I still think like little things like Sergio Aguero, oh. all these things in the press about him. He just goes, you know what, mate? I'm just going to score from 25 yards top bins. I, I still want to, I don't know. I don't know. But he, we're he playing gets, well. He does get injured quite a lot, Aguero. It's a good point. I don't know, leave a point. Um, as a comment, you lot, and let us know what do you think about Arsenal, baby? Olivier Giroud, the model, coming off the bench to bang in some goals rather than cheating on his misses. Are you tired? I'm knackered. He's knackered, isn't it? Bro, Have you slept? I Basically, I went to bed at 5.30, woke up, went to the doctors this morning, oh. and they've made my way here. So I had about an hour to two hours sleep. Hello! Liverpool! We move on to Liverpool against Crystal Palace. I was there. It was 4-2. Jay Skillers, the tricky Reds. Liverpool FC, Hitman Hodge. Thoughts on Liverpool's 4-2 win versus Palace. And how good is Coutinho? Oh, my God. Yo, Coutinho going. Oh, oh, I was there. Oh, you're watching that. And going forward, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. That is uh, that's, wow. that's, you know, you know, like in life, right? Mm. Like people that just go for it. And yeah. you look at them and you go, you know what? You're going for it. Sometimes they trip over and you go, never mind, man. At least you're going for it. Then people that are like, uh, I might do that one day, but I mm, don't really want to do that. And then, and then they don't like do the anything. Approach. Yeah, why are you being cautious? They say you just want man to be out here. We are so out here. It's just like <laughs> scattergun. You man are separate, I can't lie. It's good. Like going forward, it's so good when we play no striker up top and then they just interchange. The midfield is like, nine. you don't know who's going to go up front. One time it's Mane, then it's Fabinho, then it's Coutinho, and then the pressing is incredible. A couple of defensive mistakes led to the goals, which isn't great. But if you tighten that up a little bit, we look really good. I think Liverpool look really good. I love that there was a little flare in the crowd as well, a couple of smoke bombs. Liverpool fans are just, they're just great. Can I ask you a question? Do you reckon this has worked out for Liverpool because Klopp sort of came in and instead of saying, I'm going to sort out the team, he sort of went for the fans. Do you reckon that's created this sort of atmosphere where you've got flares in the game? I think he's smart. I just think Klopp's so smart and I think mm. he's just honest. Okay. When we're not doing good, he goes, that was shit, you know, that wasn't good, I'm not going to lie. Or, you know, we were good, but the defence isn't good at the moment. You know, he, he's just honest. And when that whole, even though like, people were laughing at us when we drew to West Brom and done the whole we'll go to the fans thing. Mm -hmm. But even this game as well, you know, the players were kind of walking away. He goes, come here, go over there. Because you, you have to make the fans support you. Because if you've got the fans doubting you, they're not sure, you get, all these fan channels start getting created and then... There's just too much of a weird aura. Like every time it might turn a little bit, the fans might turn. Mm. He's made sure the fans are on us. They support us. And 
the fact that he's backing it up with the football he's playing, which is attacking free-flowing football, you can't not like it. So when you concede a couple of goals, you go, you can't blame Klopp, can you? He's done great. He's done great, and I believe in him from day one. I'm so happy. He's the perfect man for the club. It's a great fit. You know, once again, we're, we're tied top of the league with Arsenal and Man City. Last season, we were eighth with 14 points. So, I don't know, mate. That's definitely an improvement. Last question. Daniel Sturridge. Mm. Just going to say his name. Daniel Sturridge. Well, look, he's not playing and we're doing really well. Like, really, really well. You could say when he played against Burnley, we actually lost that game. The, the more we've played like this, the more we're actually scoring goals without a striker. Origi as well, you know, he's not playing. Do we need it? Like, we'll, we'll need them. I say stay for the cup games and I, we definitely should not sell him in January to a rival. 100% keep Sturridge and then in June, let him go if he wants to go. Leave comments to let us know about your progress this season. Can you do it? Is Klopp the man? And does Daniel Sturridge deserve to eat the bench and serve oranges? Let man noodle as we go on. Go on. To some Poet. quick fire Because no, last no, week, no, 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 no. Last I week, I was like, look, Steve O's here. Sorry, United fans, that you lost. But, you know, Steve O's is probably not going to go too mad. However, this, this game, I think you topped it one. You actually have. And the Van Sam says... Poet, would you wear a Manchester United shirt if we win the league? Okay. And another one is, we all know that Mourinho wins leagues in his second season, but will he make it? Poet, they drew to Burnley, 0-0. Zlatan was moving a bit wild. Their keeper was going mad in Burnley. Starfish saves. Now, Vern Sam, it's Halloween. I understand scary things happen, like my eyes, because they look really, really mad. And my hair is incredibly crazy. But you asking stupid fucking questions needs to stop today. I wouldn't be seen dead, alive, unconscious, or maybe as a transvestite with a Man United jer um, jersey. It's just not happening. You lot were the best team in Premier League by a country mile. No one could touch you. You always reinvented your sides. I remember when you had man like Cantona up front. Then you went Dwight York, Andy Cole. Then you had Cristiano Ronaldo. And now you've got a 34-year-old Swede who doesn't want to score. I told man about Zlatan. I told man about United, I'm not entirely convinced. You've paid 89 million for a black man to perform in the Europa League. I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about Europa League. Because when Europa League finishes, QVC's on and they're asking me, do I want to buy a toaster? I don't want to buy a toaster. I already got a toaster. And now Man United fans want to get upset with me. Stop pointing the fingers at the wrong people. This black man is not responsible for how shit you lot are. Jose Mourinho is. And he will be the decline of your club. Because you know what Jose Mourinho is right now? He's Will Young releasing that album today. No one cares! You're too old school. No one cares about you no more, Will Young. You don't make music and Mourinho don't make good decisions anymore. You are the most successful team in England. You are clearly the team with the most history in England. And now look at And the most dabs. <laughs> the most dabs. Manchester United fans, is Mourinho failing you? What is happening to Zlatan? He can't tap it in from a yard. You man are eighth! Will Pogba keep on dabbing? You man are eighth! You man are eighth, you know. Don't chat to Bournemouth and Jack Lewis for them, man. <laughs> Don't chat to me no more. You can at me on Twitter all day. It doesn't change the fact that you man... And even if you beat us in two weeks' time, do you know what I will say when I come back? Good win, but you man are shit. Tottenham Hotspur, however. They're losing a bit of, bit of pace. Max Hare says Spurs have another draw. Still unbeaten, but aren't top. Five wins, five draws. Still unbeaten. Mm. Um... Mm. Yeah, I mean, I live literally right next to White Hart Lane. Someone knocked over my bins. I was really angry about that. So the rubbish fell over for no reason. Mm. So that was a bit annoying. I could, I could hear the stands and stuff. It was quite fun. One, one, you know, I watched, I watched the highlights. You know, it was okay. It was, it was okay. bland, didn't it? Was, it, it, was a bit, it was a bit bland. You know, when you don't get, you get the kebab with no garlic sauce, nothing. It's just a bit. But the one thing I have to just, respect about Spurs is in games where in which they're not great, they don't lose. Like mm. I said, like I don't think they were great on the weekend, but they're not losing. Against West Brom, away... So consistency, Chattis, you're not losing. They're not losing. And I think that will breed confidence no matter what, because they say they win their next game, which happens to be against Arsenal. Praise the Lord, they don't. Oh, my God. It just... I you forget do. all about these draws. I hope they do. If Tottenham beat you, lot. Oh it just makes the league God. more entertaining. Should we move to Man City? Ooh, real quick, my real quick, real quick. Because look at that. Anshas Chetley says, Man City, top of the PL, top of the PL2 under 23s, top of the Women's League, top of under 18 league. Thoughts? Wow. It's so mad because... It seems like they're investing in a lot of other teams. Oh, Man City are on this thing, fam. On their this man thing. There, their YouTube is sick. Their man there, the podcast. Oh, my... They've got a podcast now. <laughs> they're on... This, they're Man United... Not Man United, sorry. Man, man City, City have a are podcast. on this thing, fam. And where is Jaya Toure? Fam, he said he's not playing until his agent apologises. Pep said it. You're not playing until your agent apologises. 
No one man is bigger than the club. Yeah, a man like Yaya Toure is sitting out the whole season, basically. Yeah. Alex Ferguson would have done the same thing. I just think they're going to win the league, man. They're just too good. It, it? Like, six uh... games, no win. Everyone's talking about, oh my God, it's the worst run for Pep Guardiola. 4-0 away from home. I just I give up on Man City. I am very afraid of Manchester City. All right, so all right, we're talking title challenge now. You know, mm -hmm. it's still early. It's looking very tight up there. So you're, you're securely going for Man City. No, I'm going for Chelsea. I said Chelsea at the start and I'm sticking with it. I'm oh, going damn. for Chelsea. Man City look very, very good. Very, you're very good. You're going Chelsea? But Chelsea, they've got 3-4-3 three, three now. They found their style of football. Conte's gone back to the formation that suited him so well. Um, I am obviously the romantic Liverpool fan who has never witnessed us to win the league ever. So I'm just going to say Liverpool. A comment here from Ben Miller. Light. Shout out Brighton who beat promotion favourites Norwich 5-0. We're doing our thing even though the media hates us. Hashtag what? separate. Why does the media hate you? Who, Brighton? Yeah. Can you tell us, like, why does the media hate you? I actually haven't, I didn't know about this, that they hate you. I quite want Brighton to go up. I think that would be really, really cool. But this one here, though, for me, is, is more important. Dostite Vukovic. Mitro's on fire. Your defence is terrified. Mitro's on fire. Four days, Ooh. two games, four na, na, goals. Na, 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 All be Preston. Na, 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 and, of course, na, two na, yellow na. cards. You know how mad he is? He said, in an interview to the Daily Telegraph, if my dad said to me, if I wasn't a footballer, I'd be a criminal or a kickboxer. And now he's loving every minute. Every time they sing the song, after he stays back on the pitch and he does this like, Are you serious? to the fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's been videos like he literally like walks off last on purpose. They all start singing the song and he turns around and he's like, na 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 na. He's mad. We have to do FIFA and chill with Mitrovic, that please easy, at Newcastle FC and just because he has, I don't even think he has a Twitter. And like he, is it? he took a photo of his girlfriend eating and he goes, my fat girl. <laughs> Like, he, he's just so Serbian. Like, everything about him, you can just imagine him headbutting a door for no reason. We are actually going to the Spurs Leverkusen game, talking of Europe, courtesy of BT. Video is going to be coming out on Saturday. Watch out for a little Poet and Vuj on tour on this thing. Come on, Bing Bang Bosch. Also, just did speak about the, um, the North London derby is going to be happening soon. On the channel, we do have Delarin against Belly Ali in the five shot challenge. <laughs> do go watch that as well. I come a fan. You, man, of. Bad boys, 360k. You, know? you man are bad Come boys. Come on, I'm a rep in the five shot challenge. Bad boy. Who, five not, who do you not want the five boys. shot challenge with? Like, I don't know. Like, this seems like it's a new FIFA and chill card. It's even blown FIFA and chill out of the water. I'm one mil in a month. One mil in a month, you know. You man are bad boys. <laughs> Ask Diddy. It come back, peg it back a little bit. I see something here about Timsy, new copper 90 clothing. Oh, Timsy, Timsy, get your pretty little Korean ass in here. Come here, Korea's next to model. Korea's next to model. Korea's next to model. Korea's. Hello. Timsy, what were we doing before oh. the show started? We were watching some unsavoury... Gay porn, that's my guy! We were watching some gay porn of Timsy before the shoot started. <laughs> Timsy, man, tell us about this t-shirt. So this is one of two, well there are actually four t-shirts available. Mm -hmm. So there's one with the Heritage Copper 90 logo mm -hmm. in white with a black logo or black with a white logo. Mm -hmm. And then there's the classic, which is the Copper 90 Lotus. Mm -hmm. And that's also in black and white and white. And black. How many times have you been like rehearsing that? Oh no, not at all. Is oh, it, so where's it available? <laughs> it's available at. Or should I say, where's it available? <laughs> available. No, there was no joke to that. Uh, I'm just okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shop.copper90.com. All right. Hey. How was your weekend? Yeah. That's right. Who's going to win the league? Uh, I want to say Arsenal. But I think Arsenal. Chelsea or City. Que pasa, mi amor? He's going to try and ship his family over with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's point to the camera and say, what a guy. And let's whiz through these like piss in the ocean. <laughs> you, ever, you ever pissed in the ocean? It's sick, yeah, isn't it? it's fucking amazing. Like, you know what the thing is, right? Because I don't really like swimming. I like going in deep uh, water. So I'm yeah. just there awkwardly squatting like mid, like just like trying the waves are hitting me. I'm like, ooh, ooh. And it's just all, it's all warm and that. And you see someone behind you like, <gasps> and you're like, ooh. You drank it. <laughs> You're like, ooh, you're choking on my wee wee. Oh, All right. When a guy, Arch Thompson, retires from professional football with 28 goals, so much 30, 30, which come in one game in 32 no win versus America. So, well, guys, they settled South Sanders for getting 20 points in 20 games, fired a head coach, signing two new players, then picking up 28 points in 40 games to return to the MLS Cup playoffs. What a guy for the League of Rails Society had to give a homeless man a job. Ruben Vittorio had been selling for three years prior. For eight months, he had spent a time outside the doorway of Society and had stadium with his dog Mundo. He had been given a position in the club's maintenance department and then finally put a roof over his head. Good to see the club's going oh, back to the community. Bad boy. 
Well, guys, you're Daniel De Rossi. Well, he's a Lissandra Florenzi family, and to four years here, but the result of scan on his left knee. Well, guys, Tamal my first against Sweden, winning the league. Fans were at a pitch invasion. What a guy to the Gallia F supporters. Joe was seven miles across Sweden to watch his team play. They won 1 0, and all the players came out to celebrate. It's one fan. One fan. There's a picture to it. What? One fan went to the away trip. For who? For what? With this team in, I believe it's, I believe it's Sweden. He travelled 7,000 miles, 700 miles, yeah. one fan. The whole stand, <laughs> yeah. one fan. And they all went over to him to applaud him. <laughs> so I don't know, he's kind of winning. And the whole flight line says, what a guy. I'm just feeling myself tonight. <laughs> okay, that's fucking weird. But oh wait, also, if true, what a guy. My mate Hayden having mad issues at home with his family. Sister recently been hospitalised for mental issue and attempted to take her life. Hayden has stepped up for me and taken on a burden to make sure me and my family are all good. Making us all laugh during this shit time. Big up. That is hard. I feel like to give it to everyone. Or okay. let's give it to like All right, let's give it to let's let's just let's just give it to three people. Let's, let's give it to Real Sociedad for the for the for, That's the, for incredible. the homeless man. He definitely deserves it. For the girl face supporters, um, you know, also the, the one the one man celebrating in Sweden. My daughter, let's give it to Sweden. let's give it to the guy feeling himself tonight because he doesn't <laughs> feel themselves every night. Sammy Tacos, what a guy to his mate Hayden. Can we just? Um, what, what a guy! 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 I am from a man next to a bridge, legend. A man with his girlfriend, legend. A man in the woods, legend. A man with a pitch. Have a nice. I, I cop an eye, send you I am from. But right now, we're talking about two twos this week on social. It was a bit of a mad week. Patrice Evra trying to end racism by dressing up as a panda and, and dancing, dancing to, to panda. panda. I got bras in the lemon. Pissing up, leaning up, fan. Credit cards and scams. Hitting up, licks in a fan. Black as it, fan. What is it, Lula, fan. Going out, black on Montana. 100 kilos, 100 pounds. Because it's black and white. Yeah, hey, I like it. I like it. I mean, it's a very original idea. Uh, I don't, I can see why um, it would work. You said after this video, you can't be racist. So Donald Trump sees this and he goes, oh my God, I'm cured of racism. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. That's, that's brilliant. So to the KKK, they're like, what the hell are we wearing this fucking <laughs> <laughs> The world's done radar returns. That is fucking brilliant Photoshop. Bellerin says that this cat has better techers than him. Which that is, is funny. Which is quite funny because it does look like it has better techers than him. He does, and to yeah. be fair, in a five shot challenge, man did tip someone to the bar against him. So do check out Bella running the five shot challenge and have a shameless plug. And also another fan that went alone. Look, one pro Vercelli at Bari yesterday, the home fans have bought him beer. That is incredible. That bro. is brilliant, right? That is inc... Do you know what? People like that to me That's are so heroes. cool. You know, like, you know what? He's a leader. Just, you know, why not? I, hey, son, you coming to the game? No, I'm staying at home. Hey, Barry, you coming to the game? No, I'm staying at home. Well, fuck it. I'm going to the game. Tim Z just showed us West Brom fans singing we've lost the ball and then we've got the ball when they get the ball back and just going back and forth. I love a bit of creativity on the pitch with the, with the fans. They are croissants, we did listen. We do listen to you lot, you know, because you don't have like, yo, that's a pan of chocolate. That's not a croissant, cuz. Well, now we got a croissant. We're going to have a bite, end it with a bite. Have a bite. Have a bite. And you'll remember, if you're having a bad, have a nice. <laughs> mm.